San Antonio got a pretty robust uh, place there, a litigious system when it comes to animals. Tell us about this. Yeah, they formed this specialty court about uh, uh, almost a year ago, and the city felt like they really had a problem with lax pet owners that weren't keeping their dogs uh, uh, within within their yards or weren't vaccinating their dogs enough, or they felt like they really had a problem with aggressive animal behavior. I think the city reports that they have more than 2,000 uh, dog bites every year. And, and the city felt like under the old system where people would just go before a judge at random, that judges weren't giving these cases en enough attention, that they would just give people a slap on the wrist. So the city wanted to form a specialty court where they felt like they would have a dedicated judge who understood the, uh, uh, the problem of, of animal law violations and could really uh, hand down some pretty stiff penalties. Dog, doggy court. How stiff can the penalties get, Nathan? Usually each offense is uh, $269. And what happens to people is they often get hit with multiple charges. Um, a, a dog may escape from the yard and, and run around and, and an animal, uh, animal care services employee will, will pick up the dog and then you'll find that the tag wasn't on the dog and the, and the vaccination wasn't current and each one of those is a separate charge. Um, when I was in court the other day, some people were facing thousands of dollars in fines. And I wonder too if this is going to uh, spur people to have to give up their pets. I mean, there must be pet owners who are pretty fed up with some of this, I'd imagine. Well, in, in some instances, if, if uh, or I think usually the case is, is if, a, if a dog catcher picks up a dog and that it isn't current with the vaccination, they, they quarantine the dog. And so you have to pay money to, to get your dog out of doggy jail. And, um, and, that's a, and that's a separate um, charge. And in some cases, I, th I think the city is trying to improve on their, the rate at which they're euthanizing dogs, but, but some pets are, are euthanized uh, as part of this. Doggy jail, what is our world coming to? All right, I'm not making light of it. I'm wondering though, what, whether the city officials are seeing any improvement because they have this court. Are they seeing the infractions that they're going after people dropping? It, you know, it's too early to tell um, whether we're, we're, they're noticing any improvement. Um, and, and certainly there are critics who say that this court is really just about revenue generation. The city, I reported, has collected more than $250,000 in fines um, since the court was formed last April. Uh, it's hard to, to get data from earlier years, but it certainly seems like there's been an increase in the number of people who are getting charged and fined. So. Um, it, it's unclear whether this has led to any change in, 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 in behavior, but uh, it certainly has, there has been robust enforcement. Nathan, very quickly before I let you go, when you were talking to folks, did you hear of anyone who sort of, were, they were just going after their people perhaps that they didn't like who had pets? They were using this as sort of a, in a vindictive spirit to get back at someone, reporting them because their pet had some infraction, that they were using it in that way? You know, I didn't hear that. I did hear the complaint often that when when employees are making sweeps of neighborhoods, they're usually rounding up the most docile dogs, not the ones that are the real, you know, quote unquote troublemakers. They're not going to bother with aggressive dogs. They're going to be they're going to pick up the dogs that are generally uh, well cared for. Um, and, and so I, the most common complaint is that people felt like that they were really just getting um, charged for pretty minor things and that they were responsible pet owners.